Today we're going to take a look at Interactive Intelligence Pure Cloud. We're going to look at the first level, which is Pure Cloud Collaborate, and that is the unified communications collaboration software that Pure Cloud has offered. And we'll log into it and show you all the features that have come with Pure Cloud Collaborate. So I'm going to put in my username and my password, obviously, and then my uh, the organization that I belong to. Uh, this will be your corporate organization, and click on the login button. And now I'm logging in, and I'm actually using the web browser. There is a desktop client that you can use as well. You can also use the web browser. So first thing that happens when I log in is you're going to see that I'm going to log in and my profile is going to show up. And currently this is my personal profile. If I click on view public profile, it's going to show me what I look like to the rest of the organization. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is a collaboration tool that is also kind of a corporate social media or corporate media solution so this is allow you to find subject matter experts look up users see who reports to who and provide any additional information which allows you to provide the best customer experience not only for the users but if you're dealing with any customers to be able to get to the person to the get the information to get the client to the right person or internally just to look up the right subject matter expert or find the information that you're looking for that might be stored so first thing here is you see my profile picture and I see green because I'm actually currently available. So this is a presence engine as well. I can change my picture. I can go in here and change my presence as well. Uh, there's my title and the division and the group that I work in, sales manager, and I can put in a custom message, right? Have a great day. All right, and so that everybody in the organization can see that. Down below, I have the relationships on the left-hand side. This is the structure in the organization. This is who are my peers at the level that I'm at, who reports directly to me, uh, and also who do I report to in the management team. So, for instance, I'm a sales manager, so I have the service manager as a, a peer. I have one of the sales person, sales people, as a direct report. And then I report up to the general manager who reports to the regional manager who reports to the national manager. Okay. If I wanted to, and I can see that currently, if I mouse over it, Rusty Buckets actually is currently available right now. And I can go down here. If I had, I could call him. If I had that ability, I can email him. I can initiate a chat. Uh, I can also initiate a video call because be, because this client uh, the Pure Cloud is using WebRTC. It also does video and does WebRTC voice. So you can have a web, a web phone as well. And then the last one is the profile information, or I can mark him as a favorite that he shows up as somebody I, I interact with on a regular basis. Um, if I scroll back up to the top, I can actually see a card view of the organization. Go in a large organization, you want to know, you know, is this person who's you know giving me grief? Is this a peer? Do I work for this person? Uh, you should know that and who reports to you and it gives everybody else the ability to see that as well. In addition to that card view, I can go and click on the hierarchy tree view and this gives me a, a look in a tree view of who reports to me um, and their presence information and then who I report to and one of the things it won't let me do is I cannot expand to see who the other reports are for these users. I'm only available to see what's relevant to me. So I'll go back and click my face here and my profile and when I clicked on my face over here the little button what you'll see is availability so this is the presence information so if I'm busy I can click on busy I'm away I'm going to lunch I'm taking a break and every one of these things will actually change the color of my presence bubble so that if anybody is looking for me they can actually see that I'm currently out of the office a call comes in I uh, let me speak to my sales manager oh I'm sorry he's currently out of the office can I uh, you know can I pass you to somebody else right so you can do that as well so I can change the presence information here as well okay and down below we looked at the relationships we also have sort of that social media piece here where we can go in and say add a new section so if I wanted to add enhance my profile I can do things like what location skills and certifications if I add skills and certifications what this will do is this is I can put in my own certifications and skills which is now becomes a searchable field by anybody in the organization so if I'm a subject matter expert on, you know, brake pads or, you know, handling difficult customers or um, solution selling, anybody in the organization can actually search it and find me and then contact me either through video or through chat to have a conversation while they're still on 
the phone with a customer that had a question that may fall into my subject matter expertise. I can also go in and add additional sections for biography, education, any HR information you want to put in there, or I can go in here, I can click in and bring all the information from my LinkedIn profile, my corporate LinkedIn profile, it can auto, auto fill that information as well. The last thing you'll see down here, well, you've got the contact information, which is the second last thing I'm going to show you, is your email address, your cell phone, your, your local phone, anything like you have there. Um, I can edit that information because it's my user profile, but also have a group section. Now, the one thing that uh, Interactive does that a lot of these, uh, you, you know, collaborative things like maybe Skype does not do is not only can I have groups, but I can have group chats, group discussions. So that it's not just more, it's more than just a one-on-one. -on -one. So right now I'm a member of the group sales. If there are any social groups, which could be, you know, the, you know, the, um, the, the team softball club or the uh, guys that like muscle cars and all that sort of stuff, you can be a member of that. And when you're a member of each of these groups, what happens is anytime there's a conversation that's going on, you'll be notified that there's actual conversations going on so you can see this information or you can mute it. And the last one is who owns this club and I'm the one that actually created this club. So the sales group belongs to me. So I'm sort of the primary member that can add um, users and remove users. Okay. So this is the social media aspect of it. What we have here is we have, I click on my name to see my profile, which we can do, we can set up here. Um, if I go back, I can add favorites. So currently I don't have any favorites, but let's just say that Jill is one of my favorites because she works for me. So I add her in there and she automatically comes selected as my favorite. So if I go back to here, let's say I go to the chat, let's close this down. I go back to my favorites you'll see that Jill's up here immediately. And if I had any favorite groups, so let's say that I belonged, I wanted to join the muscle car group, this becomes a favorite as well. So if I click on my favorites, I have my personal, I have my group favorites. And if I have multiple groups here, or multiple users, I also have the ability to search as well. So for instance, I type J and it's gonna find, you know, I report to Johnny, so let me add Johnny as one of my favorites as well. And then from here, it's my quick list of things where I can say, let me just chat with her, let me look at his profile. Let me give him a call, right? I can do all this sort of from here. So Jill's got an extension number. If I wanted to call her, I can click on the phone to make that call if I had a phone associated. So that's where I create all my, my favorites. And as you can see from my clicking on Jill's uh, presence or Jill's bubble here, you can see that she's currently offline. Also, you can see her management relationships, the groups that she belongs to, right? And also her information and then down here her, her skills and certifications so if i was looking for somebody that you know did she actually pass you know the sales 101 course actually she's got that certification it's great okay and that'll come back later in the uh, directory if i wanted to chat with her i can click on the bubble here wanted to email her if she had a video camera which she doesn't uh, i can do a, a web video to her the point to point um, and then i can also i believe this is change the pictures that she has associated so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to initiate a chat and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually go that I know that Rusty, that's not my favorites here, but let's go into the chat and you'll see that I've got my chat window up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a user to my chat. So I'm going to say add and I'm going to say Rusty. So there's Rusty. Okay. And I'm going to say good morning. Mr. Buckets. All right, and also for the, the millennials in there, I can go in here and actually attach a whole bunch of emoticons if I want. Um, pictures, you know, funny faces, pandas, all that sort of stuff, which I won't do. And if I wanted to actually attach a file for my desktop, I can also do that as well. So I'm gonna attach this story of simple. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna upload a link. You can see the attachment here. And then when I actually hit enter, it's actually going to upload that to Mr. Buckets. And here's the chat. And here's the link because this is actually storing it in the pure cloud. So it's not actually being stored locally. So now it's a centralized position where anybody can get access to it. And there's the email. Good morning, Mr. Buckets. And there's the response from Mr. Buckets, who's I get a notification up here. And also if I go off and look somewhere else uh, and let's say I just go back to my main profile. Well, you'll notice here on the left hand side and I'll minimize this is I should get a little notification. So again, let's say that I'm 
Um, I'm still working and I'm working on something else on my desktop. And he's like, hello, are you there? And it answers. Then I get my little pop-up message here, which I can click on to open it up, or I get the little notification on the left-hand side. And I can say, yes, just busy. Right, so I can send these back and forth the entire time. And this, if I wanted to, I can escalate this actually to a video call. If I click on the video, it's gonna open it up to a video screen. What you can see is I have a, a video icon here. I can open this to the video. And not only can I do a one-to-one -one video, I can do one to multiple, but if I just wanted to, let's say have a, a video call with Mr. Buckets because he wants to show me something or he wants to show a new part that I don't have. I can do that. I can invite somebody else into the organization. And again, I have a search feature that I can either do now or go back later to look at something to see, hey, you know what? I know that he sent me that doc and I know it was a PDF file. So I'm going to go .pdf, hit enter. Uh, and what's going to happen is, oh, there's the doc, right? And I have now a reference and a history, a searchable history on all the items in there. So I don't have to go in my email searching for all these documents that I know that somebody sent me, but I can't remember. All right. So when I'm done that, I can actually close that out. I also, as mentioned, I have the video chat capability. So if I wanted to go to you know, Rusty, I can click on his name. And let's say that I wanted to add somebody else in. So I wanted to add uh, Johnny Rocket. Now when I add two people in, I actually start a video conference. So for those remote users, the regional managers, the regional directors, the national managers, I could actually have a call with all my participants in it and a video call just out of the pure cloud collaborate. All that requires is the, the Collaborate Pro license, a webcam, and the ability to uh, initiate these calls. So it's all gonna be done through the web browser. So we won't do that today, but this is what I can do. I can start a video conference as well. All right, so I have all this information. I look at my activity. This is actually gonna show me the activity of what's going on here. You know, any emails that I got, uh, any uh, instant messages, any video calls. I have the directory here. Now, the directory is where I can find users in the organization at a much faster pace. So I can sort by people. sort by groups and locations, or I can sort by all. But what you should see on the left-hand side is that the filters change. So if I wanted to find, I'm a sales manager and I wanna find all my people in sales, I click on sales, and these are the two people in the sales group. I can drop that down. Let's say that I wanted to find everybody in service because uh, I need to know who the service manager is. So I can go into here and I can say service, and here are all the users in service. Plus I see their presence information, whether they're online or not. Okay. The other thing I can do is I can say, let me see if I've got a customer that's asking me about brake pads and I don't know anything about brakes. So I'm going to go into service and then I hear all my service users, but then I also have some skills here. Oh, there's somebody that actually is a specialist on brakes. So I click on that and guess what? Mustang Sally is the person I need to speak to. So what I can do is if she's online, I can interact with her immediately and send her a message. I can send her an email. I can view her profile. When the profile pops up, I can click email and it's gonna pop up an email that I'm able to sort of send her to uh, ask those questions, right? I'll go back to my individual profile. That's in the directory, so I can, sub, I can subdivide the users into an increasing filter. So let's say I wanna to talk to somebody who knows you know, about brakes and windshields, right? I can select these two or say, you know what? I only care about brakes or I only want to see anybody in the service department. So I can create those filters and clear them. If we had specific skills and I want to search by skills, I can do that. I can say, I can even go up here and say service. And what's going to show up is going to show up all the users that have service attached to them, right? I can also go into here and click on service. Or if I want to find specific skills, I can say, show everybody that uh, is got sales 101 training. And only the users that pop up with sales 101 certification shows up. Okay, it's a great way to find that subject matter expert. Um, I can create them as a favorite. I can chat with them. The last piece here is the documents. Once you get to the documents tab, this is a place where you can store and collaborate on documents. Keep them here where they can be group documents, your own documents. So I'll click on the uploads tab here. And this shows me all the workspaces I have access to. So number one is my workspace, 
what's shared with me and a group competitive info workspace that someone has already created that I have access to. And also if I wanted to upload something into it. So for instance, I go and open my workspace. So I go to my workspace, I actually don't have anything in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into um, my workspace and I'm going to upload a document. So what I can do is I can drag it or I can just, uh, and I can go to my desktop or what I can actually do is drop it in here directly. And it's just a, a just an image file that I'm going to put in here, and I'm going to go um, pure cloud. I can go and hit enter. Pure enter, and what happens is it's going to put that in here, and then I can start the upload, and it's actually uploaded this document. So I can go in here and change the tags if I want, uh, but also I have the ability to share this, so I can share only I have access to it. I can share it with other people in the organization that I can select or I can make a public link. If I click on public, I can get a shareable link and it's copied and I'll just go to my web browser and I'll paste it in. And now what happens is I can now provide that to any customer to get access to it. All right, so here's basically that, that, that image. So I can share it, I can email it, or I can even include it in a chat. If I go back into my chat, if I want to have a chat with somebody, I can just go and paste. Uh, let me click off there, and I want to paste this in here. I just go and click paste, hit enter, and now I've actually sent that link so somebody else in the organization can actually do that as well. So I will minimize this. And if I go back to my uploads page, I not only have my workspace, if I click open, here's my document, right? If I go back, I can see what was shared with me. Or if I say, you know what, there's some competitive info I wanted to find on some, you know, other dealerships or other manufacturers. I click on the open, and anybody else who's actually uploaded some competitive information, I now have access to. So I can take this, I could download, share it. I can also click more where I can check the properties, replace it. Also, I have the ability to search by tag. So if I want to say simple, simple, hit enter. It's going to find anything and there's you know simple as the tag and it's also in the name so i have all this capability of, of filtering this stuff uh and today yesterday last 70 days even based on size so it gives me a great opportunity sort of to to filter this stuff and then i can unfilter this by clicking these x boxes so i go back to oh here's all the documents that i have access to so again this is something where you can have shared documents your own personal documents documents that are shared with you and ones that are groups that have shared based on class of service to other users. Now we looked at the chat, we looked at the favorites, uh, let's look at the video. Pretty handy, a lot of great stuff in Pure Cloud Collaborate. Um, and that's it. So we've got Pure Cloud Collaborate. And if you're interested, just give us a call and we'll set up a demo and uh, stay tuned for more videos.